What's up guys, it's Optic Tubar with another After Effects tutorial, and this one is on render settings. So basically exporting your project and turning it into an actual video file. So I have here just a regular, uh, just random comp. And once you've finished with it, you want to come up to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. That's going to open up the Render Queue tab here. And it's going to open up this little dialog box. So what we're going to do is we're going to change these settings here and we're going to actually create a template so that you don't have to change them every time. So what we're going to do is click on the render settings, this text right here, it's going to open up this. And what we want to do is to keep the quality at best, make sure it's at full, read only. All of this stuff should be fine, but if you want to double check uh, to make sure that it's the same as what I have, then go ahead. The one thing that you want to decide for yourself though is under time span it says work area only and you can change that to the length of comp but I like to keep it at work area only and what this means is if I went back into my comp here it's only going to render what the work area is so if I brought the work area in like this it would only render this part and I like that because I got to control which part it renders but you have to be careful because if you have your work area set and you render it with work area only and you don't know why it only rendered a small part of it that's why so i like to keep it on work area but you can change it to the whole comp if you want so i'm going to keep it at work area only and you want to change the frame rate to use this frame rate and then type in 29.97 and uh, the reason you don't want to render at 59.94 is it takes up more space on your computer and YouTube is only at 30 frames per second anyways. So render at 29.97. All of the rest of this should be okay, so press okay. But what we want to do is create a template out of that. So press the little arrow right next to that text and press make template. We're gonna rename this to best settings 29.97 or whatever you want. And then make sure that the movie default is at Best settings 29.97, what we just created. So make sure the movie's at that, and the rest is fine the way it is. And then press OK. So now we have our template that we just created. And now every time that you add something to the render queue, it will have those settings. So now we have to change the output module. So go ahead and click on the text here. Change the format to QuickTime. QuickTime is what I like to use. Um, you don't have to use these settings, but these are just the settings that I like to use. So come under Format Options and select the video codec H.264. Make sure that the quality is at 100% and then press OK. Make sure that audio output is checked because if it's by default, it's unchecked and then you won't have any audio. So make sure that it's checked and then press OK. So let's go ahead and make a template for that as well. So click the arrow next to the text, make template, rename this to QuickTime H.264 or whatever you would like, best maybe. And then make sure that the movie default is on QuickTime H.264 best that we just created. Leave the rest by itself leave the rest alone and then press OK. And you can see now we have our template for what we just created. So the last thing is to change the output to section. Now this is different every time because this is basically telling After Effects where to render it to. So you can usually do it to your desktop or to whatever folder that you want to. Um, so just change this every time. There's no need to make a template unless you really want to save it in a specific spot. Um, but I usually just render to my desktop, so then I would select desktop and press save. Or you can also rename it to render tutorial desktop save. Once you're done, the render button is right here. So just go ahead and render that out. So there it is, there it's finished. But remember that it only renders what the work area is set. 
if that's the setting that you chose. So I'm going to minimize After Effects here. And here's our finished project, this beautiful text animation that I made. Um, I want to remind you though that I don't ever upload this straight to YouTube. I always render it in a second program. Now, I'm not going to have a tutorial on that unless you guys really request it because some people use Sony Vegas, some people use Premiere Pro, and you know, some people use, you know, Movie Maker or whatever. But the reason that I don't upload it straight to YouTube is because After Effects makes pretty big file sizes. It doesn't compress it very well. So you always want to use a compression or render it in Sony Vegas or render it in Premiere Pro to get a nice clean small file size that you can upload straight to YouTube. And also a good reason is because I don't render my whole video in After Effects. I render out pieces and then put it together anyways. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully these render settings will help you out. See you guys in the next video.